So one more specialty food item that I must try here is the Kongra eel. So uh, certain places in Japan have a special way of cooking eel. Nagoya is one, Osaka is one, and this area. And this area of Hiroshima has a specialty eel, it's called the conger eel. And I guess they cook it a certain way with a special seasoning to make it their own style here. So I can't wait to try it. I found this cute restaurant and I'm gonna try this eel. Here's the restaurant, what it looks like on the outside. And this is a tourist place, so the menu has English. Here's what's on the menu. And these are all meal sets. Remember in Japan, they don't usually do substitutions. You just order, they can Take out anything you are allergic to, but they don't really do substitutions here. So this is a typical Japanese menu. Looks delicious. Okay, so this is traditional style. I am sitting on my knees on a pillow. Here's the pillow. And I'm here to try the Congre eel. This is a specialty here and the Congre eel is native to this area. It's a different type of eel in Nagoya that they prepare, and it is not to be confused with the electric eel. The electric eel is found in the Brazilian area. So this is how it was brought to me: traditional Japanese dishes with a top on top to keep, a top to keep it warm. Here's the eel, conger eel, with rice, and it has some pickled ginger. Here's a miso soup and tea with some toppings. I have seaweed, daikon, and another vegetable. So it looks very good. The name of this restaurant is Mizuha. And the service was great. She helped me, answered my questions. Ah, today's a Tuesday, so for a touristy area on Tuesdays, you don't expect a lot of people. And my eel, look at this dish, yum. And first, my towelette. Remember in Japan, they always give you a towelette, whether it's a wet wipe or actually hot warm towel, it depends on the restaurant. And this is the eel with rice. All right, let's see. If you told me it was fish, I wouldn't know. It's something different from fish. It's a little bit stronger than fish. It holds together, but it just tastes like teriyaki fish to me. Mm. Yeah, that's all. And then this is the um, like steams with the teriyaki and a special sauce. Great. Usually eel is prepared steamed or fried. 
They also do have it barbecued in some places. Hmm. And my miso soup. Ah, very nice. Let me show you what it looks like. So it just looks like fish, right? And there are tiny bones in here. And in Japan, they just eat everything. They cook it so that you can just chew the bones and everything. Yeah, these are this is one of the dishes that I really like in Japan is the eel and how do you say eel in Japanese is unagi unagi that for sure just like a fish So, this restaurant is great. The service was a uh, perfect service. Very nice traditional style. It's clean, fast food. The food is delicious. So, I don't have my foodies faces, but I will do it soon. My tea. Also, um, yeah, if, if you have problems with your knees or you don't want to bend down and sit on the pillows, they do have tables, uh, Western style sitting in the front. So that's good. But uh, I want to try the full Japanese experience, right? And you have to take off your shoes. Don't forget, take off your shoes. I have chopsticks, but I'm using my spoon right now. Trying to think of any other tips for the area. It rained a lot. So Japan, it usually rains all year, but there is a rainy season where it rains almost every day. But it still rains all year. It's not like rain ever stops here. It, it, it might stop for a few days, but it rains a lot. So be prepared for rainy weather. Um, what else? Yeah, it's pretty good. Take a lot of pictures. There's a lot of hiking in nature on uh, Miwajima Island. Very nice. What, what else can I say? I'm trying to think of any type of tips about Japan. Oh, foreigners, uh, beware. Sometimes the Japanese are not used to seeing foreigners and they will be staring at you. And it's not a hostile stare. It's just like they're curious and they're looking at people because we look different. We stand out, right? I do not look Japanese, right? So we stand out here. They're very nice people. Food is delicious, food is different. Uh, the sweets are good, delicious, but not as sweet as American sweets or Western sweets. So if you want something so sugary, sugar, sugar, it's not really. So it, it's good though, but some people just want to high, too much sugar, it's not like that. It's a nice balanced amount of sugar.
Mm. Well, I'm just about done with my meal. And the whole set was about $20 USD roughly. And usually when they bring out your food, they just leave you alone. If you need help or assistance, you need to call them because in Japan, they don't usually check up on you every 10 to 15 minutes. And so like I said, when they bring out your food, they usually put your bill on the table. Here's my bill. But I can't read it. So I would compare it to like a teriyaki halibut or something, a stronger fish. It holds together. But eel is delicious and um, I just finished my meal. So thank you for watching foodies. If you have any recommendations, any type of food you think I should eat. Oh, it's one more bite, sorry. Mm. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Put anything in the comments. And thank you again. Like and subscribe. Ta-ta.